um, I've actually got some running shoes coming too <clears throat> that I ordered. I've got these um, Hoka Hoka One One. Let me see if I can get the image up here on the website to show you. But I've got these coming, and I'm excited to get them because um, the shoes that I currently have at the moment are pretty much on their last legs. So I've decided to go for these maximalist shoes, which probably goes against everything I know when it comes to uh, you know. Um, when it comes to wearing sneakers like this i'm usually one that tends to go for the whole like you know minimalist shoe because i like to do pose running and make sure i'm running on my toes but this time around i decided to go for the hoke hoka one ones which are these super thick midsole uh, running shoes that essentially can work as a daily trainer and something you can wear during race day but i would imagine for the most part most um, serious runners or people that want to make sure they're not heel striking will probably wear these during their long runs when during a week and then when it comes to race day you try and have as less a thin as a shoe as possible of course so you're not carrying around, mu around much weight and also so you can just like run really quickly but i guess the on the flip side of it if you get one of those like carbon plated shoes that people are doing now like the vapor the nike vapor fly four percent that has that little rocker at the front where i think the idea behind it is that when you stomp your foot and you kind of go off it sort of springs and pushes you forward which is why people are getting ridiculously good pbs when it comes to um or pr sorry when it comes to uh braces that they're doing at the moment so i decided to go for this one i've got the black and the yellow ones that are on their way um hopefully i'll get those very very soon i'll update you guys on what i think of them but so far i needed a new pair to kind of go into my rotation um, I think again during this whole lockdown, you know, I'm trying to um, take a re look, rejig things in terms of my training, in terms of how I approach things, be a bit more serious, be a bit more, uh, have a bit more intent behind the things I do. And one of them is to make sure that I have all the gear, I have all the equipment I need in order to kind of make sure that I'm no, I'm never at a loss to run. Because before in the past, I'd have like you know, maybe two or three pieces of kit that I could wear, which meant if I wore them during a the week. Um, to their max i wouldn't necessarily have anything to wear during the end of the week so that would impact that so in order to do that in order to kind of make sure that mistake doesn't happen again make sure you have a good rotation of gear to wear make sure you have the appropriate footwear too for different kind of uh you know scenarios whether i go on holiday i'll do a trail run i might need a different pair of shoes or definitely a bit different pair um because i'm sure that ea that eva so will um get worn down once i go on a trail run but have different sort of race shoes have something maybe to do you know maybe long distance slow maybe long distance fast you know all these kind of things you need to kind of have in your arsenal and i think um this will go a long way to making sure that i have all the requisite things needed but yeah these should be coming very very soon so again i'll double i'll definitely update you guys once i have them but i'm happy that it's got a pull tab because i don't think a lot of hockey hooker on it honest have those this is a rincon has got a peel tab on it nice fix so decent length on the tongue i would prefer the tongue to be a bit longer i quite like the satisfaction of pulling that bad boy up a bit more but you know um what can you do they are the way they are and hopefully they fit got uk 10 and a half coming in so i need that extra bit of room just in case because <coughs> usually in my shoes i usually go, go for a uk 10 but i take out the intel so i can just you know <coughs> wear them as close to the ground as possible but with these being so thick there's no real point of doing that so that should be arriving very very soon <coughs> 